two things that are happening right now. One is we have an unemployment rate stuck above 8%, and the second is we're in the Olympics. The two are related. Stagnating incomes, lower employment rates, and an overall lower standard of living for future generations of Americans. The U.S. used to be the real leader. We were the dominant player. We were the king. We were the Usain Bolt of the innovation economy. But today, we're not. Over the past decade, the United States did not create a single net new job. And median household income has not increased in the United States since 1983. Because we've fallen behind, we experienced the Great Recession, and we've experienced terrible and anemic recovery. For a lot of people, when you say the U.S. is falling behind, their response is, are you kidding? How could we be falling behind? We've got Twitter, we've got Facebook, we've got Google. Aren't these world leaders? They are world leaders, but they're in a small segment of our economy. The overall U.S. innovation economy is actually suffering. At least three dozen countries around the world have implemented national innovation and competitive strategies supported by institutions such as National Innovation Foundation. But I think these are game plans for how these countries can compete and win in the race for global innovation-based advantage. So what our book does is it explains what this race is all about, how the U.S. is falling behind, and what the implications of that are for the average American family. If we're losing the race, if it has all these big negative consequences to our economy and to our standard of living, why aren't we doing more? And we go through a series of explanations in the book as to why. One of the big reasons is that the economists who dominate policy making and policy thinking in Washington really just simply have not caught up with this new global innovation-based economy that we're in. In a knowledge-based economy, uh, markets acting alone will underperform at producing innovation. And for countries that rely solely on markets without any kind of partnership from government to put in place the conditions for innovations, uh, those economies are going to underproduce. Really what we uh, need is a levels. new kind of national politics. It's all about growth, competitiveness, and innovation. Both sides of the aisle, both parties have got to focus around how are we going to grow the U.S. economy, not redistribute smaller and smaller pieces of the pie. The reality is we're not special. There are lots of other countries that have looked at our game plan, have copied it, and are trying to improve it. So if we don't get in the game, if we don't recognize we're competing, we're going to continue to lose the race.